Hello, my loves. My name is Gina. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope all my Cancer babies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So, my loves, if you are interested in crystals to heal and clear the uh, chakras for depression, anxiety, or insomnia, um, you could visit Kim K Crystals. The link for her website is below. Uh, she does do live crystal sales on Facebook. Her Facebook link is in the description box below. Also, I do choose winners for free readings at those live events, and she does. Ooh, and she does giveaways also. Um, so it is a lot of fun if you'd like to check it out. Uh, special shout out to Juju at Lunar Logic Tarot 1111, Owl Tarot, and Distilled Tarot. You can find the links for their channels in the description box below um, under recommended readers. Okay. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I do choose multiple winners every week. I give away a whole bunch of stuff. Um, in the description box below, you'll find a list of everything I give away. Just hashtag what you would like to manifest or win in the comment section below, okay? And don't forget to click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. Um, I am on Patreon. I do weekly readings on Patreon. It gives a day-by-day -day love reading. Time I'm stamped and at the end um, it's cancer versus all signs like if you're dealing with a Virgo or whatever so it is a lot of fun a lot of people are enjoying it if you'd like to join patreon link is in the description box below okay let's go ahead and get started all right my loves so let's see what we have here for cancer sun moon rising and venus signs please holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity guidance love messages for my cancers please sun moon rising and venus please holy spirit what do my cancers need to know today please holy spirit angel spirits and guides clarity guidance love messages for my cancers please spirit okay so under the deck we have the six of cups let's see here so we have the three of pentacles and we have the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Strength card. Leo energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We've got the World card in the reverse. And we have the Seven of Cups. So Cancer, this could be your energy. This could be your person's energy. All right. So what I'm feeling here, Cancer, in the recent past, there may have been a situation, um, I feel like it, it is with an X, I have to say, because we have the Six of Cups here, all right? So I feel like we're, we're kind of looking back at the past here. We're looking at the good times. We're looking at, you know, whoever's on this side is looking at, at how you guys worked as as a team, you know, how much you could have had, how much, you know, if you would have collaborated with one another, how successful you would be right now. Okay. Um, in the current moment though, in the current moment though, I feel here that again, with the strength card and the queen of pentacles, that someone here maybe sees this, they see the potential, or maybe they see someone, um, standing strong, standing alone, a strong business partner is really what I'm getting. Um, someone here maybe is financially stable. Maybe someone has opened a business. Someone here has became very independent, very responsible. Someone here has learned how to stand on their own two feet. Okay. But still I'm getting a sense of somebody here seeing what they want, seeing that, you know, wow, this is amazing, but they're still not they're still not, you know what I'm saying, reaching out for it. Now, with the world card in the reverse and the seven of cups um, coming into the near future, I feel like someone is in this energy of being confused. Okay, someone's like, you know, did I make the right de decision by shutting this chapter in my life? Can we start over again? Is this door still open for me to walk? Like, is there still a chance that this connection could come together? You know, someone here is very confused. They don't, and I, I feel like the reason why they're not reaching out here is because they're they're just confused. Their thoughts are muddled. Maybe a lot of people are getting involved, possibly. Maybe this person has a lot of options, okay? Um, what I am feeling, though, is this person, we have an X here. 
looking at somebody, looking at an ex and saying, wow, you know what I'm saying? I could have had that with this person. Look at how they've glowed up or come up. Or, you know, if I would have worked together with somebody, we could have had so much right now, right? So someone is kind of stuck in, in the past here. They're going back. They're thinking about, you know, the would is, the should is, the could is. Like, what, what if type of energy, all right? Let's see what we have here. Spirit, what clarity and guidance? What love messages do we have here today? for my cancers because i mean with the three of pentacles the ten of pentacles and the queen of pentacles um i mean that's that's a lot of prosperity that's a lot of pentacles that's a lot of uh financial solid financial foundation you know someone here may be a very have a very strong business sense or maybe uh money just comes to someone here all right um, yeah, we got the five of cups that just fell out on top of the three of pentacles. I feel like someone here has a little bit of remorse for cutting someone off maybe, or for not giving someone a chance or for not being a teammate, for not supporting someone, for not standing by someone and trying a little bit harder cancer. Tell me about this 10 of pentacles. We've got the emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. And what I find funny is that the emperor is under here too, okay? Aries, Taurus energy. So, you know, this is somebody here who is also, this may be someone a little bit older than you. This is someone who is also in control of their life, in control of their emotions. They may be a business owner. This is someone who is also very responsible, someone very business oriented, someone who um, handles their shit, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it, it it's like someone here is kind of regretting like man we made a great team you know we made a great team and i wonder what could have been tell me about this queen of pentacles we've got the sun leo energy i feel like cancer someone is starting to realize the other person's worth and with the three of wands they're watching they're yearning especially if you're at a distance from this person you haven't spoken to them in three years or more maybe or three months or more or three weeks or more um I feel like someone sees the other person. They're really seeing that person. They're seeing their worth. They're seeing their shine. Someone, I'm getting a glow. Like someone has like a glow to them, right? And someone is starting to see that very strong Leo energy here. Tell me about the strength card. We've got the seven of cups again. Someone doesn't know if they should move forward. Maybe they're waiting for a sign, you know. Someone just doesn't know. They're confused as to whether or not they should move forward. With temperance here, um, there would need to be uh, forgiveness or maybe someone here is being patient, trying to figure out what move they should make. Yeah, because the connection would need a lot of work, Cancer. With the six of cups under the deck, we've got the ten of swords here, the eight of pentacles, and the temperance card. I feel like the connection would need a lot of healing maybe you divorced this person already maybe um you broke up with this person already it was a very ugly ending or this person betrayed the other person in some way and they know that the connection would need a lot of work to come back together again the divine you know we've got this healing angel would literally have to be involved in healing your hearts because a lot went down in the past yeah this could be look we've got the hierophant and the six of cups this could be an ex-husband or an ex-wife it could be someone that you had a very strong soul tie to all right um let's see here tell me about this world card in the reverse one thing i can tell you this is not over for this person they don't know what move to make they're a little confused but it's not over yes yeah, see with the four of pentacles they're still holding on with the eight of cups this person has an appearance that they have emotionally disconnected and walked away but they haven't they're still holding on tight to this connection and cancer that could be you that could be your person tell me about the seven of cups the seven of cups We've got the Justice card, Libra energy, and the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Cancer, I feel like we have someone here that wants to come back, but they don't know how. Yeah, someone here wants to come back. They want to apologize. They want forgiveness. They want to do the right thing. They want to balance out those scales. They want to, you know what I'm saying, pay their karma for what they did or or how whatever nastiness happened here. With the three of pentacles, this person now wants to, they want to rush in. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. They want to say, listen, I want to be your teammate. I want to do this. I know we could have a great life together. You know, they want to do this, but I feel like cancer, they, they're holding 
holding back because they don't know how. And again, Cancer, this could be you. This could be your person. So much has happened in this connection. Maybe someone doesn't know what to say. Or, But again, with that Three of Wands energy, someone's yearning. They're looking. They're wanting. They have a vision. They're like, man, if I was with, you know, Cancer or man, if I was with so-and-so, life would be so great. We could have it all, you know. And someone's regretting a past decision. They're regretting how things ended. They're regretting the pain. Um, they're regretting the pain. We've got the Six of Cups that popped out in the reverse here. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. And temperance, Sagittarian energy. So, Cancer, the person on this side um, has a lot of negative memories on this connection. And with temperance, it has taken a lot. There's a lot to heal from. Like I said, there's a lot of unpleasant memories here between you and this person. Sagittarian energy with temperance. Tell me about my cancers, please. What do my cancers need to know? So we have the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and the Hanged Man, Piscean energy. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Four of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Cancer, I feel like after stagnation here, you have someone that out of nowhere is rushing in, okay? They're rushing in, but you really aren't so much in an energy of wanting to, yeah, you're, you're, you haven't necessarily forgotten the past cancer, okay? And as much as you may want to give this person a second chance, I feel like you're, you're scared of moving fast here. Yeah, this person may have left you. OK, they may have left you. They distanced themselves from you. They blocked you. They left you feeling rejected, alone, unhappy. Like, you know, no matter what you said or did, this person just decided to leave, to give their time and energy to something else. They just left you in pain. They just let everything fall apart. I feel like it was very quick. It was very sudden the way someone here just walked out on you, you know, and I, I feel like there was just a lot of sorrow. Yeah, someone here maybe was juggling you with someone else possibly um cancer there's a lot of negative memories for you here and i feel like as much as you know if this person comes in as much as you would like to jump on it i feel like you're gonna take a minute here four of swords and the hanged man is just taking a pause taking a minute here even if you want to jump on the opportunity we have the ten of cups here and the ten of pentacles cancer so i do feel like this was a very strong um connection here so we've got you know the six of court swords under the deck this could be you know leaving a toxic situation leaving those troubled waters behind and moving somewhere more peaceful or it could also be an energy of somebody's coming back okay it could be an energy of someone coming back so let's see here spirit tell me what we need to know for cancer tell me about the six of cups in the reverse the ace of cups tell me about temperance sagittarian energy tell me about temperance and the six of pentacles cancer i feel like someone walked away from you to pursue new love okay and that is something that that was a very hard experience for you yeah two of cups the four of wands and the seven of swords you may have been married to this person you may have been living with this person um this maybe is your twin flame okay because twin flame stuff like this happens rocky shit happens you know um but i feel like with the seven of swords this person dipped on you they may have cheated on you with someone else they lied to you whatever it is they packed their shit up and left someone here i mean and that's like leaving in the sneakiest and most trifling way possible okay someone here just dipped on you cancer and i feel like they may have dipped on you to go towards new love and you had to heal from this you had to heal from this because you feel like someone didn't feel the same way someone you know you had to heal from it you, you had to heal from it um tell me about the knight of swords please what is this knight of swords about okay so we've got the two of swords and the, the king of swords aquarius gemini libra energy cancer i feel like you don't know Know if this person is coming back towards you to stay because see this knight is still on a horse right so you don't know if the wh what are you here for do you understand what are you here for um you know are you here to sit down and stay in your throne or on you are you on a horse where you're going to be coming and going you don't know what decision to make about this knight of swords energy you're, you're just kind of scared you're trying to guard yourself you don't know what this person's true intentions are Tell me about the hanged man. 
the three of pentacles i feel like you're waiting cancer to see if this can really work is someone really serious about wanting to work things out with you tell me about the four of swords and the knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy cancer i feel like you're in an energy of being still you're fine here nine of pentacles pre empress energy uh queen of pentacles energy you're fine here okay you're good all by yourself you don't need anybody virgo energy three of swords and the death card i feel like you know this person caused you a lot of pain and a hard a lot of heartache in the past but i feel like you got over it i feel like with the death card you're over it it's a new dawn it's a new day but at the same time Time, you're also not going to line yourself up to be hurt like that again right so you're going to let this person love on you you're not going to shut them out but you're going to see what they have to say you're going to let them do their thing you're going to allow them to court you and romance you and win you back tell me about the ten of cups tell me about the ten of cups and the wheel of fortune cancer that is a divinely guided soulmate, okay? That is a divinely guided soulmate. Two of Pentacles and the Magician and the Page of Swords. You're still looking for the truth here, though, Cancer, okay? There's this big energy of, I don't know if this person's manipulating me or not, Virgo Gemini energy here. I don't know what they're really up to. And, and you know, this person may have done you really dirty in the past because... I, again, Cancer, there's this very weird energy of you're not holding a grudge. I feel like you've healed from the past, but at the same time, it's like, I have forgiven, but I'm also, I've learned my lesson from this situation, right? So I'm not going to like line myself up to be hurt like that again. Now you have to prove to me that this is what you really want. And by taking this action, Cancer, I feel like you're going to get that Wheel of Fortune. You're going to get that Ten of Cups. You're going to get that blessing, okay? That is a very strong soul tie. What is the challenge here between Cancer and their person, please? We have the Ten of Swords, ugly ending. There was an ugly ending here, Cancer. For some of you, even divorce. Clarity, guidance, love messages. The challenge here for Cancer. And the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Tell me about the challenge for Cancer. Oh, okay. All right. One second, guys. Okay, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. So, Cancer, yeah, see, the Eight of Wands, this person has to chase you now, Cancer. This person, you know, is aware. This person has to be honest on what was done, how it was done, what was said. And with that Knight of Cups energy that we see here, Cancer, they, they need to come in, apologize. They need to do the right thing to heal this with you, all right? I do see a lot of communication coming in uh, with the Moon card, and there you are cancer uh piscean energy here i feel that even though you love this person even though you have a lot of emotion for this person i feel like you're not really in a place where you are going to be showing it okay um this person needs to show you this person needs to show you what their true intentions are okay um you're not i don't see you chasing here cancer i really don't if they want you back they have to work for it tell me about the outcome here please spirit tell me about the outcome we've got the justice card libra energy and we have the ace of wands tell me about the outcome here please What I'm feeling here, Cancer, under the deck, we've got the Lover's card, Gemini Energy. We have the Empress, Aries Taurus Energy, the Emperor to the Empress. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. We've got the Hermit Virgo Energy, and we've got the King of Swords again, which we see right here. So, Cancer, what I'm feeling is this person maybe ended up with a karmic, is what I'm feeling. This person left you. Either they ended up with a third-party karmic or they've been paying some pretty serious karma since they left you. And I feel like during this time of separation with that Knight of Pentacles energy, it could be that this person hasn't spoken to you for a while or that this is a long-awaited apology. Um, 
I feel like this person has grown spiritually. I feel like they've done a lot of soul searching. I feel like this person has really become enlightened. And with that king of swords energy, I feel like this is someone coming towards you as a king. I feel like this is someone that's coming towards you being honest about what they want, what they've done, what they're willing to pursue, what they've learned during this journey. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like this person does want the second chance. They do want a new beginning here. I feel like karmic debt has been paid here. So with the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, I feel like there's going to be an offer to work things out here, Cancer, but you're just, you're not going to be totally open to just letting this person in. I mean, you're willing to listen, but I don't know if you're totally open, you know, to just letting them in. They're going to have to work for it. So let's take it into the extended. Let's see what outcome we see happening here for this, um, emperor and this empress uh let's see maybe if we could find out how long it'll take till things come together and if there is a karmic in the picture let's see what's going to happen with that karmic and then we'll pull some advice okay the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below i love you guys bye